Hello everyone, my name is Angelica and welcome to my channel. So apart from uh, crafts, the our projects, uh, thrift lips, I've decided to create kind of series on my channel where I'll be talking about my um, top favorite ideas in selected category. I will mainly focus on interiors and crafts. So if you're interested to see more this kind of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the like button so I know you enjoy it. In today's video, I will be showing my top 10 ideas for feature wall. And of course, this is my choice. I understand everyone's got different style or aesthetics, but this video might help you with making the decision what to do with your bold wall. So my first favorite idea is to paint one of the wall in different color. Uh, easy to do as you have to paint only one wall. Uh, the only difficult part is to choose the right color. If you already got some furniture or decoration, try to match the accent color with the rest of your room. I really like this idea to define the space. Let's say you got dining room together with living room. Painting one wall in different color will help you to highlight one of this area. Second idea is to use wallpaper. If you want to take a step further and you are bold enough, there is such a big choice when it comes to wallpapers. And I don't mean the plain wallpaper, I'm thinking more about some patterns or flowers, something what's more unique and outstanding. And personally, if I would put some kind of busy wallpaper, I would definitely keep all the decorations in more like a neutral colors and simple shapes so the room doesn't look overcrowded and messy. And it's also a great uh, idea for DIY projects. There's plenty of videos showing how to put wallpaper on your wall. Number three is mirror wall. It's a great idea for smaller spaces at your home as a mirror is adding more depth and space into a room and it's also improved the lighting. Uh, I especially like the old mirrors in gilded frame, any kind of sizes and shapes, just put them on the wall next to each other into some interesting composition. I love thrifting so I would definitely look for them in thrift stores, especially if you are looking for budget-friendly projects you can find so many beautiful and old pieces cheap when online some of the pieces go for a lot of money. Number four is painted arch. This trend has been so popular recently. I've seen many great YouTubers creating this wall feature by themselves. I also seen a rental friendly options of it. It's again great idea to define space in your room which got different purpose than the rest of the room. I mostly seen it um, used in more like a boho style interiors but I'm sure it will go with any style. Uh, I think it's a great idea to refresh the look of your room and it's also a budget friendly DIY project. My fifth favorite idea for feature wall is panel wall. I actually think that's my personal favorite project. I'm so tempted to do something like that in my house. I like all of the options. If it's all the way up or only halfway, I think it creates such a unique feature in your space. Some of the designs reminds me of the original Georgian houses, which had this day the rail. I'm absolutely in love with this trend as I always like houses with some character and history to them. And by adding some panels or molds, you can kind of age your space and step back to the past. Number six is hanging uh, rugs or other tapestry on the wall. So rugs aren't just for the floor anymore. I think hanging one big rug or a few smaller ones bring to your room some pattern, texture and also coziness. And again, with stuff like that, I would definitely go with more unique pieces and look for them in thrift stores or antique first. Number seven is probably the most common idea. Wall gallery can be seen in so many interviews and you think it's easy just to put few pictures on the wall next to each other, but I think it's much more than this. And I like only the ones which are done the right way, in my opinion. I like combination of different sizes and shapes of frames. I mostly like uh, the wooden old gilded frames. I don't even mind if they chipped a little bit. 
When it comes to art, I prefer painting over prints. I have nothing to print. I like them. I use them. But if I have to choose my favorite, it will be probably some old oil painting, which goes so well combined with some modern art or photographs. Number eight is basket wall. Gorgeous and cheap way to decorate your wall as there is so many baskets available in thrift stores. Uh, it's perfect for boho or modern farmhouse interior styles. I like the mix of different sizes and designs of the baskets. You can create small arrangements with just few baskets or you can fill your whole wall. Also easy to change or remove as the best way to attach them to the wall is by just that double-sided tape. Number nine is feature wall with bookshelves. It's something what no one will pass by without noticing it. You can only imagine all your guests going through looking and reading all the titles, but it doesn't necessarily have to be filled with books. You can put some photo frames, vases or other kind of decorations in there. I personally prefer the built-in uh, shelves more than the freestanding. Uh, and if I would decide to do something like that in my house, I would definitely put some cupboards on the bottom just for extra storage. But my favorite favorite is when there is fireplace and the center of the wall and the bookshelves around it. I absolutely love fireplaces even if they're not in use I think they create such a unique feature and I would definitely use the wall with the fireplace as a my feature wall. Number 10 and last one is plant feature wall. It might be a little bit controversial when the whole wall is covered in greenery, but I mean more like a little uh, planters attached to the wall in some arrangement. I am a big plant lady and I like any kind of plants and flowers. And if you are as well uh, and you run out of the space on your windowsill floor and you go still plenty of plants, I think this is a great idea. It's beautiful and eye-catching, but it also can purify your air and it's a great project to do it yourself. So that was my top 10 favorite ideas for feature wall. Let me know in the comment section which one out of these 10 you like the most or maybe you already have at your home. If you are looking for ideas on what to do with your bold wall, I hope this video helped you with the decision or just inspired you to change a few things around the house. And for now, thank you so much for watching, your support and I will see you in my next video.